Colombian President Iván Duque recently announced that the Colombian Armed Forces managed to capture Dairo Usai alias Otoniel, who was essentially the biggest drug kingpin in Colombia over the last few years. We're talking about major news considering the power that Otoniel managed to conquer to the point where in, in a press conference, President Duque told local reporters that this was essentially the biggest achievement that the Colombian armed forces and the Colombian authorities managed to, to achieve over the last few years. In fact, he even said that this was the, the, the biggest operation ever made against drug trafficking, not only since the death of former drug kingpin Pablo Escobar, but also during the whole 21st century. So this is a pretty significant story considering the consequences that Otoniel's capture could have in the South American nation and especially in Colombian organized crime. Uh, Otoniel was the, the leader of the Clan del Golfo Cartel, also known as the, uh, the Golf Clan, which, which was characterized by conducting a, a wide range of criminal operation including kidnapping, including drug trafficking, and many others. Uh, we're talking about a uh, uh, criminal group that has been terrorizing the South American nation over the last few years to the point where it literally has a lot of power in, in a wide range of, of different Colombian states. So many believe that this could represent the end of the Clan del Golfo. However, it is quite possible that this criminal organization could last a couple of years despite the fact that its biggest figure, which was Otoniel, was captured. Uh, the situation took place in the city of Urabá, in the Colombian state of Antioquia. And well, President Duque, of course, uh, congratulated the whole armed forces. However, this was quite significant since there, there were many political leaders who who had pretty controversial opinions about Otoniel's capture to the point that many of the many members of the Colombian opposition actually said that this was a lie. Some others said that this wasn't going to change absolutely anything. And in fact, there was even a pretty famous Colombian actor who said that this, this, this was a, a work of mafia men against the biggest mafia men. So he was essentially claiming that the Colombian armed forces were, were some kind of, of, of mob, of mafia. So this could, this could have pretty, pretty delicate consequences, not only in Colombia, but also in South America, considering that the, the Clan del Golfo uh, managed to expand to different nations across the region, uh, achieving such a significant amount of power that it was only until a couple of weeks ago that the armed forces of Colombia managed to to achieve this uh, well this incredible milestone against Otoniel. So what could happen, many believe, is that as it has happened previously in many other criminal organizations, the fact that the armed forces managed to capture or kill its leader, this won't mean the, the end in the short term. In fact, we could be at the brink of a pretty significant situation in which the Clan del Golfo could somehow uh, manage to reach some kind of agreement or partnership with many other criminal organizations, not only in Colombia, but also in other nations across this region. Reporting from Medellin, Colombia, Luis Orozco, Newsweek.